Ahead of the monsoon session of parliament beginning tomorrow, government convenes an all-party meeting to bring consensus on important bills including GST. Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan also scheduled to meet leaders of all political parties later today to ensure smooth functioning of parliament. After all party meet, Congress leader Gulam Nabi Azad has said party will support any bill which is pro-people and pro-growth. Information and Broadcasting Minister M. Venkaiah Naidu said that there is a broad consensus on GST which he termed as a very important and revolutionary tax reform. Speaking at a seminar in Coimbatore, he expressed confidence that the GST bill will be passed during the forthcoming parliament session. Tema Kandu sworn in as Arunachal Chief Minister, Kandu had stake claim yesterday after being elected leader of Congress Legislative Party. In Assam, security forces gunned down three hardcore NDFBS terrorists in Kokraja district. Large quantity of arms and ammunition recovered from the slain terrorists. In UP's furious drug tragedy, main accused Siripal arrested from Nayagaon even as the death toll from the alcohol poisoning climbed to 21 today. The incident happened late on Friday when several people from Ita district consumed spurious liquor and were taken ill. Senior Congress leader Margaret Alva has spilled the beans on Congress First Family alleged connections with controversial arms dealer Christian Michel. In a book, Courage and Commitment, an autobiography, Margaret Alva talks about Congress connection with Michel's father, Wolfgang Michel. In Jammu and Kashmir, situation has improved and cable TV services have been restored in the Kashmir Valley, though curfew continues in some parts for the ninth consecutive day. Meanwhile, army foiled a major infiltration bid and killed three terrorists along the line of control in the Poonch district. In Haridwar of Uttarakhand, Ganga River has come close to danger mark due to heavy rains. Water level of Pindar River has also risen. Alert have been issued in low-lying areas. In Assam, flood situation remains critical with over 1.88 lakh people reeling under the impact of the deluge in Lakhimpur, Golagat, Morigao, Zorhat, Temaji and Biswanath district. In Delhi, the water level of Yamuna River can rise up to the warning level of 204 meters by today evening. Haryana has released 1,6970 cues water yesterday. The danger mark of Yamuna River is 204.83 meters. Turkish President Erdogan ordered major crackdown after failed coup attempts. Several top officials, including judges and generals, detained. More than 250 killed in a fighting that followed the coup. Large crowds gather in Istanbul and other cities after call by Turkish authorities to defend democracy after the failed military coup. Turkish President Erdogan has called on Obama to either deport US-based cleric Fethullah Gulen or give him to Turkey for his role in the attempted coup. Airstrikes in the Syrian city of Aleppo has killed at least 28 people, including children, according to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. The attacks reported by Syrian or Russian warplanes were on rebel-held areas in the east of the city. France has called up 12,000 police reservists to help boost security after the Nice attack. Meanwhile, two new arrests have been made in the truck massacre case. Venezuela has opened its border with Colombia for the second time this month to allow people to cross over to shop for basic foods and medicine. Rohan Bopanna wins the reverse singles tie to give India a 4 0 lead against South Korea in the Davis Cup Asia Oceana Group 1 tie. R. Ramanathan expected to play the final tie. India will now enter the World Group playoff stage. The Great Indian Run Marathon was flagged off India, India Gate in New Delhi today. Union Minister Kiran Rijiju and Vijay Goel, actor Gulpalang and Olympian Anju Bobby George participated in the event. In the biggest bout of his professional career, Vijinder Singh beats Australia's Kerry Hope to win the WBO Asia Pacific Super Middleweight Boxing title in New Delhi. President and Prime Minister congratulate Vijinder Singh.